Craig S., what do you guys think of channels that do disaster details with filthy cars that haven't been washed in five years? Clickbait? <laughs> yeah. On so, a lot of that, yes. Sure. But I, I'll tell you right now, it works. I like watching that stuff. I love seeing dirty things get clean. Well, and, you know, like after <laughs> seeing it for years on end, there is a part of you that goes, okay, do I jump on the bandwagon and do it too? And you could. And we've done some stuff where well, it got to those kind of points, but nothing quite as extreme as some of the really nasty ones you see. Oh. But I want to say my personal philosophy as someone who started our YouTube channel, yeah. a lot of thoughts about how YouTube and social media and all this stuff works. When clickbait actually <clears throat> delivers on its premise, it surpasses being simply clickbait. If it gives you what it says it's going to do, then I think <laughs> you have forfeited the right to be upset about clickbaitiness at that point. Right. Mm. If it drew you in and, it, and you yeah. were satisfied with the results. If it drew you results? in, if you clicked and you're like, oh, that thumbnail, and then you click it and it actually ends up being as extreme as it laid on, okay, fine. Then I think that counts and you can't wash it away as being, oh, it's clickbait. Well, so yeah. I, I think there is a legitimacy to Dane, it if you, it can do you hold fall, up to the, do the you, name. Do you fall for clickbait personally? Oh, totally. There's certain things where I look and I'm just curious. Like, I'm like, okay, what's this thing? They're being deliberately, like, obtuse. Let's find out. Yeah. And sure enough, uh, yeah, a lot of them are filthy, filthy liars who lie, and yeah. it's annoying. But sometimes you get a gem. So you Do you feel like they get you? But the problem is if you have something great and then you give it a kind of lame title and you don't put some, you know, pizzazz on it, you can miss out. And there could be great videos that just never get seen. Like, mm. I know there's a there's a video Jimmy doesn't want me to mention that is one of his personal favorites. It's only got, like, 15,000 views on it. It's an amazingly edited car mm. piece. And I won't say what it is, but it is awesome. I know exactly. And it has, like, no views. Well, so <laughs> I would say... But it deserves say, hundreds of thousands. So in terms of the detailing stuff, though, specifically to that, right? I mean, um, oh, they were not Costco towels. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh -huh. just screaming. Um, uh, how dare you? <laughs> Anything. I just had... had, had, had <laughs> Anthony. Um, so going back to the, the disaster details, you know, the cars have been sitting for five years, <clears> right? <throat> so sometimes they think, was that a planted car? Did they plant that car? Is that really true filth, right? You well, know, what's going like on? Like they that? just like do well, it all one right time, before. <laughs> I think one time I, I watched a video, right, where these people were cleaning this car for like five years or something. And it wasn't even a detailing related channel or anything. They were just cleaning this car after five years. And it was moldy and it was horrible and it was really, really disgusting. Sure. But I think the surprising part is it started up after sitting for five years. And I was thinking, did they change the battery first? I'm or? like, did you change anything or do anything? Like, yeah. how did that start up after five years like that? No problems. No. I would say I like barn find stuff. Yeah. I do like that because I that was one of my favorite things to do in my shop was when we get that because I loved hearing the story about the car. Yeah. And that was one of the things that I really, really enjoyed. Now, I will say, depending on the parts of the country, very fast, very easy. Our very own Nick Kovach here, his sister has a forerunner like yours, Anthony, oh. that she parks in there at her house in Seattle. Very large pine tree yes. over the top of that. Rains a lot in Seattle. Both her and her oh, husband yeah. working, working from home during COVID. Didn't wash their car <laughs> for almost 10 months, Babesy. right? Yeah, he's they're, both, on. they're both working from home. Uh -huh. Raining, dripping on that, that tree's yeah. leaving drippings. <laughs> Plants were starting to grow mm -hmm. on her car. Now, plants? That, yeah, little, <laughs> no. little tiny fibers are growing because like there's so much. Like what kind of plants? There was like mud a, and just little like sprouts. Like a ficus? No, little sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> just little ficus? tiny sprouts <laughs> along the top of the car because of the tree sap, because of the dirt that was getting rinsed off the tree, mm. because of the rain that was being on there, because of how wet everything was yeah. staying. Yeah. That's possible. It's totally yeah. possible. turns into a planter box. Yeah. If that car got stuck there for a year and didn't move from that spot, they were in about six to eight months of it sitting there before they actually like went and drove it. They were like, we drive it, but we park it in the same spot. What that reminds me of, it never goes through the car wash. Have you ever seen the movie? It's called I Am Legend. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right? Um, uh, so there was some visuals. It's like one of the greatest movies ever made. There's some visuals there so of sad. this of this city completely True. overgrown, right? Right. Fun mm -hmm. fact, it's one of Nick Kovacs, our, our producer's favorite movies of mm -hmm. all time as yeah. well. And so he knows exactly what I'm talking about, but it could very well be a situation like that exactly. where if you were to left that car sit... Right, it but could it could become have left, they could a leave haunted it for 18 city. Months and that car would look like it's been, oh my gosh. Yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah. Gas is probably yeah. bad, but it's probably still got a charge, still got 
but the other stuff is not a big deal. So what's this? Oh, a little bottle of stable behind the seat. Well, it's just yeah, you can put some of that and leave it. It'll be all right. All right. So we're getting through, but that, but yes, I think it can be. I think we all agree. Yeah. If it works for you, though, hey, it's not clickbait. Yeah. All right.